Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to show you in this particular video is uh, composite functions. I want to show you a couple examples of what a composite function is. So here I have two functions. I have f of x is equal to this, and then I have g of x, okay, is equal to this. So a composite function, okay, is something like this, f of g of x. Okay, now that's kind of... Um, initially to students, that's kind of like crazy <laughs> symbology, like f of g of x, it looks a little complex, right? Well, you know, it, it uh, initially it looks a little complex, but it's actually really, really important um, for you to understand this when you're talking about functions and relations. But uh, before I tell you what f of g of x is, we'll do that here in a second, I just want to um, kind of give you a more basic example. So let's take this f of x function. If I said find f of, uh, let's say, 2, okay? what would you do? Okay. Well, what you're going to be doing is, you see this is x, okay, here we plugged in 2, and here I have x. Well, you're going to just replace x with 2, okay? So that's going to be 2 times 2 minus 3. So f of 2 would be equal to 4 minus 3, or f of 2 would be equal to 1, okay? So that's what, it, that's what we call in algebra evaluating a function. Now, Let's go over here to the g of x function, and let's uh, let's plug in something else for x. Let's plug in maybe z, okay? Let's find g of z. So what would I do there? Well, I would replace this x with a z. So it would be 5z plus 1. So g of z would be equal to 5z plus 1. So, you know, you might ask ourselves, you know, what was the purpose of that? Well, there really is no... Uh, purpose other than showing you, you know, what it uh, means to evaluate a function. So the bottom line is this, whatever I plug into these functions, okay, here I plugged in z, I could plug in anything, maybe I could plug in g of x plus 1, okay, well all I would do is substitute this x for whatever I plug, plugged in here, right, so that would be 5 times x plus 1 plus 1, okay. Alright, so if you understand that, then you'll be able to um, understand these composite functions. So let me go ahead and erase all of this. And we'll actually do an example. Okay. All right, so like I said, this isn't trivial as far as um, algebra is concerned. You actually have to do a good amount of uh, composite functions, not only in algebra, but um, beyond. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and find f of g of x, f of g of x. So what does that mean, okay? Well, what you're going to be doing is we're going to be plugging something into something into the, um, the f of x function. But what are we going to be plugging into that? Well, what this uh, notation is saying is, hey, I want you to plug in the g of x function, okay? So what's the g of x function? Well, it's this, okay? So really, this notation is asking you to find f of 5x plus 1. Okay, so f of 5x plus 1, which is in fact the g of x function. So that means right here, you're, where this x is, you're going to plug in 5x plus 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. f of g of x is the same thing as f of 5x plus 1. Okay, so that's going to be 2 times f of, or excuse me, 2 times um, 5x plus 1. Now, we can't forget this 3, okay? All I did right here is 2 times 5x plus 1 minus 3, all right? So take a good look at that here for a second, and if you understand this setup right here, then you'll be home free, okay? Because this is all simple algebra from this point forward. So let's go ahead and uh, use the distributive property. Multiply everything by 2, I get 10x plus 2 minus 3, so that would be 10x minus 1. So f of g of x is equal to 10x minus 1. Okay, so there is our composite function, and that's how we did it. And of course, you can go g of f of x, or you can do all kinds of various combinations, but uh, but this is the basic um, the basics behind evaluating a composite function. All right, so hopefully this video helps you out um, for a lot more great free uh, videos and other resources. Um, in mathematics, come on over to our site, algebratesthelper.com. Um, we're all basically, it's, uh, 
our focus is designed or uh, is really to make math as easy as possible to learn. So it's a great um, resource for you out there. And uh, keep working hard. Good luck, and we'll see you soon.